I'm going to give, uh, I'm going to be talking about the function, uh, common functional groups yeah, used in organic chemistry. Uh, I'll probably do about three or four uh, per uh, video in the next little video series, and I'll give an example of each as I go. So first, I just wanted to say when I write R, it just means um, it's used to indicate a hydrogen or any combination of carbon and hydrogen atoms or carbon or hydrogen containing functional groups. So just we'll just put uh, like CH. So you'll see in a second what I mean by that. Um, but the first group that we're going to look at is a alkyl halide. So alkyl halide. So this would look like this. You have your R connecting to some sort of X. And X can equal uh, chlorine, bromine, or iodide. So an example would be right here and your Cl group right there. So this is one, two, three carbons attached to a chloride. So the name of this would be um, N propyl chloride. So N propyl uh, chloride. Okay, uh, next we're going to do an alkene, which is a really common one. So alkene, um, the example here would be your R connecting to your, your few R's connecting to these two carbon groups, right? So the double bonded carbon is what is of interest in this uh, alkene. So an example would be something like this. So this would be a one butene. So remember that a alkene always changes the name. So if this is normally a butane, it becomes a butene, right? So it adds this ene on the end. So if this was propane, it would be propene, okay? So that's the difference. I'll give another example right here. Um, or I'll give the example of propene actually. So just there with a double bond, and this is propene. The last one I'm going to do for this video is an alkyne. So this would look like this. And then you have a double bonded C with your R groups. Um, it changes the name from an ane to an ine. So an example would be um, Oh, sorry, it's a triple bond here, my bad. Triple bond. So an example would be a triple bonded carbon right there, and this would be 2-butyne. The reason that this is called 2-butyne is because the alkyne group is on the second carbon. Either way you look at it is 1-2, right? 1-2. So... That is why it's called a 2-butyne. If this was attached like this, then it would be a 3-butyne. 